Hello everybody, Sigark here, back with another educational video for the infected. And today I'm going to be going over how to get the large backpack in the infected. So hit I, go to the little books up here, the Itemopedia, go to weapons, you'll see the large backpack. So this is going to increase the weight capacity from 50 to 75, and it also increases the amount of uh, overall capacity in the backpack here. So to make that, what you're going to need is 8 croc skin and 2 rope. Keep in mind though, you do have to craft it on the loom, as a description says there. Um, so to craft the loom, it isn't that hard, but it does require the loom tech. So you'll have to loot, uh, you'll have to find the correct POI, so there's few in the game, so you have to loot the correct town to find it. They're, the blueprints are randomly placed, so you'll kind of have to loot all of them until you find the loom tech. But once you get that, you'll be able to craft the large backpack. I suggest doing that as soon as possible, because the main constraint in this game is your storage capacity. As you see in the bottom right, I'm at 25 out of 75. Um, it's going to make it a lot easier to get through the game the bigger capacity you have. So as far as the ingredients for the large backpack, you'll get the croc skin in here in the center of the map. That's the swamp area. Uh, be aware though that the crocodiles... Just had a zombie die over there. Be aware that the crocodiles are the strongest enemies in the game. They kill you in about two hits, so if you're at 100 health, the base stats, they're going to kill you in two hits, no problem. I've only died once in this game, and that was due to me trying to get the uh, the croc skin, so be very careful. Uh, but with this method I'm going to show you, you should be able to kill uh, as many crocs as you want without taking a single hit of damage. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Before you head out, you're going to want to grab six planks, because this method does require you building a wooden foundation in the swamp. You'll only need to build one, but bring the six planks with you. Don't worry about the wood logs. Um, once you get there, just chop down a tree nearby and bring the logs over to build the foundation. So besides bringing the planks, there's a few more items I would suggest bringing. Um, bring a few med kits just in case you get take some damage. Always good to bring a, a splint just in case you fall and break your leg. And then uh, obviously some bandages, whatever you have. And then um, if you have some food and water as well, That'd be good. Um, you should be able to complete this in one day. Worst case, you can always run back to your base and uh, pick up more supplies and sleep the night away, but you probably want to do this during the day just because uh, it's a little bit hard to see animals when it's dark out. Also, always a bonus if you have the helmet, because that's just going to give you a little extra light just in case it does get dark. Also, as far as um, weapons go, Ideally, in a perfect world, you'll want a bow, which is pretty easily made early on in the game, and um, some bone arrows. So the bone arrows will allow you to retrieve them 100% of the time, whereas the stone arrows, 50% of the time, they have a chance of breaking. So if you can get bone arrows, great. If not, grab some stone arrows, and you'll probably want to grab at least 30 of them at bare minimum. The more the better, uh, just because you'll be able to retrieve half of them at least, but if they're, you have to kill eight crocs, it takes a few hits to kill them if you get a perfect headshot, so bring as many as possible for that. I would say at least 30 for the stone arrows, but if you have bone arrows, if you have at least 20, I would say, and you're retrieving them as you go, you should be fine. Okay, so before I head out, I'm going to grab some planks here. So I have six. That should be enough. Also, one thing you do want to keep in mind is that each croc skin has a weight of three. So you want to keep 24 weight allocated in your inventory to pick these croc skins up. So, like I said, you can do this all in one day. Uh, just want to keep your inventory fairly empty. I'm, I have the backpack already, so I'm at 75, but you'll be at 50. So you want to keep at least half the weight of your inventory open so you can carry that 24 with you. Okay, so we're here in the swamp area, 
and I have my foundation here. So you'll want to build it ideally along the outskirts. So I'm just on the edge of the swamp, just in case you have to make a run for it, and that way I don't get surrounded by uh, crocodiles. So you want to use those six planks that you brought, throw them in the foundation, and then just chop down a nearby tree, and then you'll put the four logs in there. I built it just high enough so like I can't jump on it, but I also built it next to this little rock here so I can always jump up and be safe enough so that I can't get hit. So I see a little crocodile over there. Let's see if I can hit him. Okay, so you hear a little slap kind of noise and that'll make them run towards you. And if you can, try to shoot them in the head on their way over. So I hit him once, Let's hit him a second time. I missed. Two, three, four, five, Okay, so I think that was five headshots that I, they took there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it took six to the head. So you can, you can by all means, try and kite these things, but as you saw, it, it moves pretty fast. And if you're early in the game, you're gonna run out of stamina, and it's gonna kill you in two shots. So let me harvest them, not as well. And that'll give you one croc skin as well as uh, two pieces of raw meat. So you'll have to do that eight times. I'll see, and then have another one coming right up. So just repeat the process. Um, not a bad idea to bring a stone hammer with you, which I don't have. But if you bring that, you can kind of repair the uh, wooden foundation as you go. Oh God, I got another. <laughs> If you run out of arrows, you can probably also use a spear, but it's a little bit hard to reach them. He's about to break my foundation, so let me get rid of him. There we go. And that's really it. So I already have two croc skin just from sitting here. And if you kind of, if you're looking out, you don't see one around you, just kind of run out to the island that you're on. You'll eventually see one, and then just um, hit them once, and then quickly run back to your your spot and hide. That way, uh, you don't get caught out in the open. Let's see if I can get this last one for fun. Bam. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. There. So six total. Alright, my sun resistance is getting kind of low. I'm going to run back to my base, but that should do it for this episode. So, build that foundation up. Like I said, near a rock, jump up on it. You can even build it kind of near high land like this. That way you can kind of do a running jump to it. The rock is just in case you get stuck. And see, as you can see there, it's pretty easy to get the crocs to run towards you after that. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. Until next time.